got such a beautiful collection here um, and with all the productions coming back there's always something new coming in to see. Halloween, a time for pumpkins, fireworks and of course fancy dress. And where better to get the outfit of all outfits than the costume department at the National Theatre? We're getting a lot of voodoo type costumes, um, lots of Victorian Gothic, um, lots of Dracula type things. So it's a, it's, it's a real mixture, but those seem to be the favourites at the moment. Well, the National Theatre puts on dozens of shows every year, so it's not surprising its costume department has over 70,000 outfits, many of them dating back to the 1960s. But what is perhaps more surprising and exciting is that you can hire some of the most iconic attire from some of the NT's biggest shows for your very own Fright Night performance. So clearly Halloween is a busy time of year, but this place doesn't just cater for the man on the street. Schools and drama groups regularly hire these authentic costumes for their own productions. And Elizabeth says wearing the original outfit from a national theatre performance can often inspire young actors. For example, Judy Dench wore that one. Wow, Might OK. I recognise that one. I do um, recognise that. Where's that from? That is from The Seagull. Right, OK. So that's a few years back. This was worn by James Corden in One Man, Two Governors. Of course, a recent production then. So this is a popular one, is it? Because he's a big chap. He is, yes. Um, so yes, so when we've got larger actors, that's always useful. So what is it like to wear a piece of history? We've got this Velcro at the back, which is always... A lot of the costumes here are quite quick change ones. Well, I got to find out. This was worn by Benedict Cumberbatch wow. in um, Frankenstein. We put that on a few years ago here at the theatre. And then just have a look in the mirror, see what you think. Wow, I definitely look the part anyway. I know, I think so. I just think some fangs, a bit of blood at the side of your mouth, and maybe just do a bit of white makeup and you're ready to go. Fabulous. Fright night, here I come. Hmm. <laughs> Thomas McGill, BBC London News.